not every day you hear about a new sci-fi sandbox title with the goal of allowing players to craft ships and stations for epic battles. It's almost unheard of for it to be an MMO. The only game I can think of that even fits this description is Dual Universe, which is still under heavy development. But now, there is another. Starbase, an upcoming MMO touting an infinitely expanding universe full of ship and station crafting with a nice dose of destructibility. Here's everything we know so far. Starbase is set to come out in early access over on Steam sometime this year. The game boasts a construction system that differs from what we've seen in the past, not block-based like Space Engineers or whatever we're going to call Dual Universe's crafting system drawing-based, but built with the concept of bolting together the ship's beams as a frame, as you can see here. Then, outer layers and components are mounted onto the subframe. The game said to use a complex durability calculation system to make sure constructs are built out of the proper materials. I'm guessing this means you can't build a starship out of something like glass, or the entire thing would fracture. Components mentioned so far are objects like thrusters, cabling, electricity, flight controls, uh, fuel intakes, cooling, power generation systems, and then everything you'd put on the outside. Which, with a power generation system, actually comes with its own set of modular upgrades like socket hookups, enhancement modules, depending on what your ship's needs are. Not to mention the control surface for the bridge so you can set up and actually fly the vessel. It's all shown in trailers we've seen. Objects like thrusters need subcomponents like, well, power run to it and some kind of propellant tank. It'll be interesting to see how deep the engineering aspects goes as the game continues to develop. Other upgrades we've seen are lighting for interiors, transmitters and receivers, tractor beams, mining lasers, and of course, mounted weapon systems. We've seen a number of turrets and cannons in the release trailers and the combat videos. So what kind of gameplay can we expect? Well, combat's been shown, salvaging of wrecks, mining, and the mention of trade's been thrown around. The first major trailer that dropped has shown us cargo crates and a bustling station full of robotic players? Question mark? Uh, yeah, we're not sure yet. Two factions have also been kind of hammered home. Will these be the only factions that you can join when the game releases in early access? We don't know yet, or can we actually make our own guilds? On release, the devs have stated the players will start the game around a single planet. Eventually, they'll learn to travel beyond the orbit of that planet and the mega stations that are there, eventually traveling to the rest of the solar system and beyond to distant stars with their own worlds. It's an interesting concept, one that Dual Universe has also mentioned is kind of the same starting point, one world and then expanding outward, crafting everything. What we haven't seen is anything on or near planets. What we've seen is everything going on in space and around these gigantic space stations that look like they've already been framed out. Will we get to travel the universe later this year, explore new stars with our epic ships? Oh, well, I hope so. This fledgling sandbox space crafting genre desperately needs some new titles. Combat looks like the most interesting aspect so far. Now don't get me wrong, I love the idea of crafting and building a vessel and engineering all of its components, but we've seen that before. None of the games that have come out so far have, well, to be frank, any really fun combat to them. More crafting and less doing something with the ships you actually build. Trailers have already shown dozens of vessels fighting it out, from small fighter like craft to battleships exchanging rounds. The kinds of weapons that you can use, you can do things like cut a new door into a ship so you can board it, or shotgun blast the hinges of a uh, piece of armor out of the way as you grab it and chuck it into space. Rockets can be used to blow up in large holes, maybe if you need to do some quick looting. Speaking of looting, you can even cut components off a ship and then walk off with them. Talk about active salvage and the rule of intergalactic dibs. Overall, it can't be just me, right? Wanting a proper multiplayer engineering game with a space combat component? It's something that I've been dreaming about for ages now. We've yet to see any kind of combat in Dual Universe, at least publicly released, so at the end of the day, I'm just happy we've got another game on the way. A few other game mechanics that I haven't mentioned so far, there's going to be a blueprinting system so you can save your designs, the ability to buy ships that are already built if you're not very good at designing them yourself. How this would work is going to be interesting, we're not really sure how. Are we talking about players actually designing and selling their designs? Can we see players who only design ships and focus on that for their main like gameplay experience. But we see things like large carrier ships and big constructs and how big can they be? How many players can we actually interact in the same space? This is something that Dual Universe has really been hyping up, the idea that you're all in a one single shared universe and you'll be able to see each other. We have yet to see a game that can really handle a community the size of ours, so say Armco getting together to build maybe one large ship, our own you know Star Destroyer out there full of fighters, I'd love to see a game like that, but I'm not sure if it's even possible.
These are all questions that we'll just have to wait and see on, though. But I plan on keeping an eye on this title, so if you want to keep up to date with the development of this and other sci-fi sandbox games, then I highly recommend you sub here for future videos. My name's Captain Shack. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.